Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the error interval for a number rounded off to three decimal places. So let's have a look at the two examples here. So we've got to write down the error interval for 2.617 and it's being rounded off to three decimal places. And since it's been rounded off to three decimal places, this means it's been rounded off to the nearest hundredth. So our scale is going up in 0.001s. Okay, so if we copy down 2.617, and the number above it on our scale would be 2.618, and the number below 2.617 would be 2.1. 2.616 so we just take 0 0.001 off okay and then what we need to do now is go halfway between 2.616 and 2.617 that will give us the lower bound which is the lowest number that the number could be and we also need to go halfway between 2.617 and 2.618 which is the upper bound and that's the highest value that our number could be Okay, so halfway between 2.616 and 2.617 would be 2.6165. If you notice, you just need to put a 5 on the end of this number to get the halfway number. And halfway between 2.617 and 2.618 is 2.6175. So again, if you notice, I've just put a 5 on the end of this number here. So this is our lower bound, and this is our upper bound. So we can now write down our error interval. So we put the lower bound first. Then you put a less than or equal to sign. Then you need to put a letter in the middle. So I'm going to go with the letter N because we've just got a number rounded off. Then we put a less than sign and then we put our upper bound 2.6175. And that is our final answer. Let's do one more example then. So this time we've got 8.754 rounded off to 3dp. So again this means our scale is going up in 0.001s. So if I copy 8.754 and if we add 0 0.001 onto this we get 8.755 and if we take 0 0.001 off we get 8.753 and then we just need to find our lower bound and upper bound by going halfway between these and halfway between these so halfway between 8.753 and 8.754 is 8.7535 so that is our lower bound that's the lowest number our number could be and halfway between 8.754 and 8.755 will be 8.7545 so again if you notice I just put a 5 on the end of this number so that is my upper bound so we can now write down the error interval so you put the lower bound first then you put a less than or equal to sign then letter N then a less than sign and then finally you put the upper bound on the right hand side and that is the error interval. So make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.